The rain beats down on the windows of the car. When you're lost, or you're late, it sounds like chaos. But when you're just fine, and you're warm, and you're comfy, it feels like someone's massaging your scalp with the tips of their nails or the tips of their fingers. Tuesday the 3rd of September. You called by following a routine checkup at the hospital shortly after 2pm. I was upstairs. Lucy answered the door. Silence. Are you alright? She asked. Silence. Matt, you'd better come down, she said, retreating to the kitchen to the kettle. And you looked straight at my chest with those Irish eyes and said, I've got cancer. The world slowly imploded as I took you in my arms and we waited for the click. We sat and talked, passing the diagnosis around the room like a wailing baby, trying to make sense of it and searching for calm. Tuesday the 13th of October. I called by following major surgery at the hospital shortly after 2pm. They call from gates instead of wards, and it does look a bit like an airport, but at least we have the heart to avoid a departure lounge. You moved as though you were standing underwater, and spoke with a croak of the young Alex Turner. And as you shuffled towards me, barefoot in a nightgown, I've never seen anyone looking quite that strong. Are you alright, Mum? And you looked straight at my chest with those Irish eyes and said, I'll be fine. Thursday of the 10th of December, I called by following a Christmas gig shortly after 10pm. We had to dash via Wakefield, I'd forgotten my passport, and then over the M62 to the P&O port at Liverpool. With my phone drained of battery, the sat-nav took us to the wrong end of the right port in complete darkness at 2am. We tried asking a bloke by a lorry, but it was a urinating unilingual Latvian. A frantic driver on Bootle, rescued by the woman in the all-night garage. Terror, and then tears, and then panic, and then relief. The rain beats down on the windows of a car When you're lost or you're late It sounds like chaos But when you're just fine And you're warm and you're comfy It feels like someone's massaging your scalp With the tips of their nails or the tips of their fingers One by one the cars filter up the ramp The rain gives way to echoes of engine noise Waved on by conductors in high-vis jackets They feed us fish and chips before bidding us good light at nights out, I sip on an IPA and try reading Bukowski by the light from the fridge, but at this stage, it just makes me feel tired and inferior. Instead, I sit watching you, drifting off to sleep. Your purple coat for a duvet, a pillow from reception, peaceful as ever. When we wake, we'll be in Dublin, where Irish eyes are smiling. God bless the NHS. Thank you.